And last but not least, the big question. When everyone asks me how I got my long hair, Now you might be looking at these front bit from hair and being like who are you to make this video but I cut this myself so yeah and it was a mistake. I'm not crying. <laughs> I'm not crying. Hello everyone welcome back to my YouTube channel my name is Ellie if you are new here then excuse the slanted camera hi and welcome so a few people have been asking me oh my god ignore that bit there so a few people have been asking me for a hair care type video and how i got my long hair and little tips and tricks so i'm just giving the people what they want so yeah this is that video um and this is like an honest video this isn't no like promoting some rubbish shampoo that's a load of rubbish this isn't taking some little gummy hair sweets no offense um and this isn't like i don't know this just isn't promoting any product this isn't lies this isn't anything this is just honestly and truly how i got my long hair enjoy so yeah there's some like really obvious ones but i'm just going to mention them quickly anyway but then there are other little ones that maybe you could introduce into your hair care routine. To get some long luscious locks. I'll show you that. So this is, oh, this is my hair at the minute. Is it even in the camera? Okay, I don't know if it's, I don't know if I even in the camera. Is it? Okay, I don't know. But that's my hair, if you can see it <laughs> at the minute. Um, hopefully that is just in the camera shot and not gonna lie it has like thinned out if that's a word thinned thinned Ooh. yeah my hair has got thin um because i have well i don't know if it definitely has but i think it has i started having chemotherapy eight months ago and luckily i didn't lose my hair but they said it could thin out i, I, I don't know if it has or if this is just maybe my hair is getting worse i don't know but they said it could thinnen so if it looks thin that is why but anyway yes yeah, shut up and just get on with it so the first obvious one is reducing heat you probably already know this one but it honestly does work i remember i dyed my hair oh my god excuse the messy background but you know oh well um i dyed my hair blonde big mistake and it literally went into like a candy floss ball and I used to straighten my hair like every single day or curly every single day for school so my hair was so dead and honestly I had to get it cut and I got it cut about just under my boob maybe yeah I'd say just under my boob um and I was like oh my god like my hair used to be so healthy nice long what have i done to my hair so after that i just went on like a i went long hair and i didn't use heat on my hair not no word of a lie for a year not saying you have to do that obviously because i don't do that now but to get it back into a really good condition i literally didn't use heat on my hair for a year and to do that you just got you've just got to find um hairstyles you like without heat and not gonna lie like what does it really matter what your hair looks like say for work or school or anything so yeah if you can just find hairstyles or plait it or just get used to your natural hair like my natural hair is horrible it's not curly it's not wavy it's not straight it's just a horrible ball of frizz and i just accepted that it's this ball of frizz and just wet just rolled with it and just that's how I used to wear my hair I mean obviously it wasn't great like I didn't like how my hair looked but I wanted it long so I knew that's what I had to do so yeah now I use heat I try and only use heat on my hair once 
um, once a week, sorry. So yeah, I don't wash my hair that often, which is another tip. I don't really know if that's a tip that helps your hair grow, but I don't wash my hair that often. I wash it maybe twice a week. Um, so yes, part of the week I'll just have it natural and then I'll use my hair, heat on my hair once, normally like a Thursday or a Friday, so I've got a nice hair for the weekend. Um, and yeah, just dry shampoo if your hair gets greasy and then over time, my hair doesn't get greasy anymore really. It takes like quite a few days for my hair to get greasy. I never ever use dry shampoo. So the less you wash it, the less it will get greasy. Um, but for the start, just use dry shampoo. So yeah, first tip, don't use heat. That was so rambly for this first tip. I won't make every tip like that, don't worry. Second one, again, pretty obvious. Don't dye your hair Do not bleach your hair. Honestly, like I say, I used to have such long, healthy hair, even though I used to straighten it every day. It was still healthy, um, but as soon as I put bleach on my hair, it ruined it. Oh, honestly, I could have cried. I didn't even really like how it looked either so I've just done it for literally no reason because I come home and put a box down on it so yeah don't bleach your hair it kills your hair obviously another thing I like to use again this isn't no promo but I feel like it does actually help so hair masks literally any hair mask I use so this one's actually from a salon it just smells unreal by the way oh if there was one hair mask I was going to recommend, it would be this one. It literally smells unbelievable. I will try and link it down below if I can. Um, but this one's about £20, so not the cheapest. Um, but I literally, you can buy like pound hair masks. You can buy three pound hair masks, which are last a couple of uses. Honestly, hair masks, hair oils. So like, this is the hair oil I use. Um... I don't use that that often so that one's not great but the hair oil I do use often is coconut oil literally the coconut oil you cook with and I just get that so it's like liquidy I just put it in the microwave and then coat my hair in it and leave it in my hair for as long as possible um, and that really 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 well I feel like it really really does help my hair so coconut oil again that is so cheap I bought mine years and years and years ago and it, I've still got the exact same tub so it lasts forever I just bought a massive massive tub of coconut oil um, you can literally get it from anywhere like Asda, offline literally anywhere now i'm saving the best tip till last so just wait there next i said about not taking you know like the little i don't know if you've seen them them little gummy bear hair things don't waste your money on them like they're expensive and honestly you don't need them but obviously drinking water eating healthy will all help but the one vitamin i would recommend to take which is well i always forget but the one I used to take religiously was this Cud Liver Oil Tablets. Um, mine are just these ones. But you can literally, again, get them from absolutely anywhere. You can get them from Asta, Tesco, Holland and Barra. Honestly, anywhere will sell these Cud Liver Oil Tablets. Um, so, yeah, they're the ones I do recommend to take. And, again, you can get them for a couple of pounds. You don't need to spend loads of money. Like, I've got, how many are in here? 180, and I've got two bags of these. They last forever. Then, again, doing little things like I plait my hair so it doesn't get knotty. So then when I'm brushing it, I'm not, like, ripping out all my hair. Shampoos and conditioners. I use Pantene, if you were wondering, but I honestly don't think it makes a difference. Personally, I have had long hair pretty much my whole life, and... There has never been a shampoo I've been not. Wow, this is amazing. Um, it's just shampoo and conditioner, to be honest. Maybe if you bought, like, a crazy expensive shampoo and conditioner from, like, the salon, it would feel just a tiny bit better. But no shampoo is going to really help you that much, to be honest. So, yeah, I'll just use Pantene um, or just anything that's on my shelf. And last but not least, the big question, when everyone asks me how I got my long hair and anything like that, 
this is the main question and this is the main answer to be honest and that is to stop going to the hairdressers now hairdressers will tell you um if you don't get your hair cut every six months it won't grow i mean how how is that a thing because how will your hair ever grow if you're always cutting it I just don't get it so obviously they're going to tell you that because they want repeat customers and repeat business and things like that obviously they're going to tell you you need your hair cut as much as possible but honestly i haven't been to the hairdressers in around four years and i went once and then before that it's probably been about five years so honestly in the past maybe eight or nine years i think i've been to the hairdressers twice literally twice and they messed up my hair every time but yeah honestly don't if you want long hair the truth is don't get it cut it's never gonna grow if you're getting your hair cut and i know they say get rid of the dead ends but well then you're not gonna have long hair because my hair not gonna lie a lot of people probably look at my hair and they're like oh god your hair needs cutting but I don't care because I want long hair. Yeah, I don't really care um, that I have dead ends because I want my hair to be long. So I'd rather have dead ends and long hair than short hair. So yeah, if you want long hair, you kind of just have to, unless you have naturally really straight hair where you don't need to use heat or you don't dye it then it's unlikely your hair is going to be really healthy if it's long. Obviously, this has probably been on my head. God knows how many years, the ones at the the hair at the end. So, yeah, that is my biggest, biggest, biggest tip. Stop going to the hairdressers, to be honest with you. Um, and just use the hair tips I use and just take care of your hair as much as possible. So, yeah, I think that is everything. If you do have any more questions, questions that i have left out um let me know and i'll answer them down in the comments below thank you so so much for watching i hope this was like a real honest what is this hair care video as possible um and you've actually finally got the truth rather than just someone promoting some product that just you waste your money on so yeah thank you so so much for watching and i will hopefully see you on my next video bye